Oh yeah, welcome to One Take Wonders Psychic Workout, everybody, where uh, I do psychic channeling, tarot card reading, and a fitness workout, all for you. Yes. With that said, let's uh, shuffle this deck a little bit here. If you haven't watched the first one, please do, because it was a great channeling. There was like 10 of cups, there was uh, uh, 9 of cups, I mean, it was just, it was just happiness. Happiness, peace, love, prosperity, this is for y'all as well. So today we're going to do this, but we're also going to do pull-ups and superset that with a deadlift, okay? Which we're not lifting anything dead. It's just a workout. I always say, watch out with deadlifts, everybody. I never gave those to a client. They're just, unless you're really into working out and you're, you know, professional on there, I don't really give that to people. Um, which is my thing. I've watched too many group fitness classes too, and people are doing it absolutely wrong, which is... Uh, also CrossFit, I've seen it, so that's why I don't give them. I would give them a hyperextension instead, which is like a machine, but since I don't, or a bench, I mean, and since I don't have that, it's in the card. I just thought that was funny. All right. All right. All right. I'm hearing pull. I'm hearing shuffle again. And pull from the top of the deck. Woo! The moon. Secrets. Rituals. Someone's a very, uh, you're a fancy, luxurious person, but you do these, like, moon rituals. Cool, 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 cool. Some of y'all not so good, some, but most of y'all really good. Interesting, the, the kind of turn of events right here. Now, this can look very creepy, and yeah, it is. You know what? For all you that do your own tarot card readings, everything, talk with spirit, everyone gets freaked out by that stuff. I watch all these uh, ghost haunting, whatever, and that, of course, it's a show, right? And they want it to be like that, but that's not how it is, man. I do it all the time. I guess once you uh, get to know what the whole thing's about, it just becomes like another thing. You know, people used to look at bodybuilding and Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and even martial arts like Bruce Lee, uh, an Asian German guy, like an uh, Austrian guy, you know, like a weirdo. You know, are working out weird until Arnold really started to say these really uh, prophetic type things. He goes, well, it's no difference uh, than someone getting into a car and trying to go a quarter mile in, uh, you know, four seconds, six seconds. For me, that's strange, right? Just because it's not my thing. But how many of you are car people? You know what I'm saying, though. If you're into makeup, if you're into <laughs> makeup sex, come on now. Uh, but whatever you're into, that is your art, right? So this is an art form. Now, if you are using it for dark forces, hey, that's up to you, man. I'm not going to judge you. Um, good luck with that. If it's, <laughs> no one is, yeah, at all doing it toward me or even you is what I'm getting. Uh, what I'm really seeing here, though, is that you, you have your own practices. Some of you keep it a secret. Even I keep a lot of it a secret. Not from you all, but maybe for people around me who just don't get it. I don't need to explain that to them. A lot like working out. Like, I know how the, like, the science of the body, I may not be the most scientific, thank you, knocking over here as my spirit guides, uh, educated as many other people are, but I know the practical applications of working out and diet and what will work if you do A, B, and C. And if you follow that, you know, by the A, B, C, uh, you'll make it, uh, you know, element of P later on, and it'll be your way of doing it. That's really my style and technique of teaching. So where was I going with this? Welcome to Psychic Channeling, everybody really finding your way okay your way and what i mean is even when i'm training someone uh if i i'm not gonna do personal training ever again but if i did or when i did i didn't have to explain the science of it to them i just had to show them the actual workout and get you get you moving you know um so some of you are keeping secrets in that in that sort of way but i think a lot of you are also revealing secrets of people not only the universe which is awesome right sex cults. I think a lot of you are, are and not, you're not getting into it. Hopefully you're not getting into it, but they use a lot of rituals as well to try to bring people in. Um, we're not falling for that, right? We know that. I think you're figuring out a lot of, someone's drawn to like, not only the occult, which is spirituality, but actual cults and not drawn to it. And I think you're studying it. You're trying to understand why someone would want to do that. This, this covert narcissist, Jim Jones, a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets right? Fear. And they want to control people. 
you're learning that that's much more than you, you think it's just this big thing that happened, like say again, Jim Jones or uh, Heaven's Gate or something like that. And it's not that exactly, I know there's more to it, but um, you're seeing that there were people around you in life who were trying to do that same thing too and have the little flying monkeys or their little, you know, cult-like uh, um, clicks. Um, and that's unfortunate. I've had to figure that out too. I had no idea what a, a covert narcissist was. I thought it was just like your vein. But yeah, uh, no, they're psychopaths. Uh, you're staying away from it. You had to figure it out a hard way, some of y'all. But you're getting past it. You're getting past it. Again, that first reading is for us as well. It, it helps you figure out your own happiness. Yes, you're angry, but, but what are you going to do about it? You're educated now. There are no mistakes in the world, but you're educated now. Okay? They're going to go on their own way. They know you're too powerful. They won't even come come near you, right? When you know people's secrets, they run. They run. You're not afraid, though. You're not afraid. You're, you speak your own secrets. You speak it out. You're not ashamed of a thing. And that's beautiful. Beautiful, y'all. All right, six minutes in. Let's get this workout going, y'all. Woo, great read. Great read. And you see how I listen to it? It's very hard for me sometimes. Um, it's very humble, humbling. Not hard. I just... Always sex stuff, Pat. Calm down. Um, in flow. We're all just, we're in flow. All right. Why does my leg itch? What bit me? Hopefully no spiders biting. Come on. It's not that at all. We know. Spider is a very sacred animal to me. Uh, insect. Very spiritual. Um, Galactic beings, too. And what I mean is they, they've come to help us all ascend. I see them everywhere. It, just a huge sign. Talk about your vibration, your fer uh, fertility, um, spreading your, your, you know, making a web of life, right? I'm seeing like Charlotte's Web and helping people because you've got the good vibrations. Bump, 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 bump. Feel it, feel it, y'all. So close grip pull-ups. Look at this, we are totally getting a really wide shot here, which is a lot of fun. Close grip pull-ups right into deadlifts, everyone. So I like to use my wraps just because I am doing kind of a double duty here and I don't want my forearms to get too burnt out. Here we go. Great news here, I'll just keep these wraps on. I'm gonna put a belt on, I take a little moment. My phone is a little cockeyed here a little bit, but that's okay. World's still in a perfect place, y'all. What is that from, um, Breakfast Club? Screws fall out all the time, the world's still in a perfect place. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. And that's a psychic channeling for us right here. We have boundaries now, right? Heck yeah, we do, and we know it. We always have. We're just really nice. And again, when people say, well, nice guys or nice people finish last, no. You're just an a-hole, right? And all of a sudden, when you have boundaries up, these people get very offended, right, and angry. Because what? Again, like a cult, can't control you, can't control us, right? Because I'm free as a bird now. I was going to say that bird can never change. Yeah, we can. We fly higher, baby. We start as a dove with peace and love. And then we become an eagle. And the messenger of God. Oh, yeah. Spiritual meaning of eagles. Check it out, y'all. We fly higher than every bird. Every single one. That's why Zeus always turned into an eagle. And you don't F with them. There are some, they're predatory birds. They will F you up. And I love them. Man, when you start awakening your spiritual self, I've had eagles come and land right next to me. And I'm just, I just sit there and like, what? Hopefully I get to videotape it one day. All right. I love animals. Get it. Uh, so I'm going to go back a little bit here. We'll do like 15 reps here. I could probably do 20, but we'll just do 15. Ooh. 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 
vowels are awesome too. <laughs> Intuition. <sighs> I think I'm on number 10. Come on, 19, 20. Yep, I think I did like 22 or something, but I lost count. But great set. Again, first set's a working set and warm up. Loved it, perfect. We're gonna take a moment, we'll get some water. As always y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm making a personal goal of uh, 2,000 subscribers uh, this month. So uh, let's do that. All right, love you guys. We'll yeah, jump in round two, everybody. So I went to shuffle, but boom, I went right to the bottom of the deck right here, y'all. The rock star, Knight of Wands. That's your magic happening really fast as well. And you are the rock star. Look at this. You shine bright. You're, you're in the public eye. You're in a public space. Maybe you're making videos. Uh, your words, your words, you're speaking it, your lyrics. You're like a, a wordsmith, if you will, are just really great with people or great um, in front of people. Are you a musician? Are you an actor? You're on a stage, and there's a Pegasus back here as well. It's like you fly high. Uh, for, <laughs> uh, for all the um, sex folks watching here, uh, what do they call it? A unicorn, right? And uh, Google it. Look it up. I'm not going to get into it. But I call uh, the guy version of that a Pegasus, which really they're called dragons. Uh, look it all up. Go to the Urban Dictionary, and you will, you will find all that info, y'all. I'm just not going to follow along with that anymore. But, but you are the star. Man, you, you have like your own style. I'm getting like Fight Club style too, but, but you dress awesome. You wear, um, not British Knights, but those, the star on your shoe, the All-Stars. And you just rock out. Look at this. Look at this. Right behind you. Your consciousness is amazing too. That light shining right behind you right there. Those are your angels, but that's also your own halo right there. Right? All these lights up here are the, are the sparkles around you. Your, yes, your guides, as I just heard. You're like making your own band, too. For some of y'all, I just spittled. For some of y'all, it's an actual band. But for a lot of you all, like a merry band of thieves, but you're not thieves. Like, like Robin Hood is what I'm saying, okay? You're going to help people. You're going to help people in a very unorthodox way as well. And you'll, you'll find your merry band of, of men and women, okay? Of course, the, the main... Uh, influencers or the main conservatives, of course, conservatives of life, m might see you a bit odd. Even that Dave P uh, Porter guy who does the pizza reviews, so many people, like, bleh, who cares? The haters are going to hate, baby. I did a whole reading yesterday, a workout reading, where the haters are going to hate, lovers are going to love, stalkers are going to stalk. You're going to have all of them, all of them, right? But you're the one to watch. You are the one to watch, y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's happening fast, too. There's a little bit of night energy, too, where it's not the best of it. Kind of like at Rockstar. You ever seen the movie Rockstar? A lot of Mark Wahlberg today. Where he, yes, where he's, you know, he's just a good person in a band in the 80s and makeup and stuff. And then he got caught up in that lifestyle. Some of you may get caught up a little bit in that, but, but you will be course corrected, okay? We will course correct you, but you also will course correct yourself. You know the power you have to help, to heal. Um... I'm even even like Robin Hood, I don't think he started uh, robbing the rich to give to the poor, even though I don't think you're robbing anyone. No one's robbing. If you are, please don't. Please don't. It won't go well. It'll come back on you tenfold, not in a good way. So please don't. Um, like again, with the Robin Hood story, he did it just because he was forced into it. And then he became this symbol of hope. And then he was like, well, I am going to help people now. You know, hope. That's who we are. So this night energy is clearly leading to a king and queen energy of hope. Hope and hope. Or as I see it, a big S on your chest. Three, three, three on the clock, y'all. Right? Superman. What's that S stand for? Hope. Also, your angels, galactic beings. Kal El. The name of Superman. El in Hebrew is one with the strength of God. Archangel Michael. Archangel Raphael. Kal in Sanskrit, which is... Uh, Ancient Hebrew, Arabic, Sanskrit. One who makes himself as light as possible. Levitation. Who flies? 
Superman does. So do you. All right. With that said, let's work out, everybody. Woo! Great reading, everyone. Great reading. I always go back and forth in my head of whether I'll film the last one or not, because I just want to kind of get through the, not get through the workout, but like hit it hard. This is part of it now. I will have times when I don't film and just work out, but that's not today. Today is filming. Again, as always, please like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Really appreciate it. Because we're moving on up. Jefferson style, you know it. Going to the high rise, seeing everything from a higher perspective. That's the key. And love. All right, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, get it. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Get it. Here we go, here we go. Yep. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Come on, get it. Uh, one more. Let's go. Yep. Ooh. Woo. I love it. And I'm starting with a close grip pull up and not a regular pull up because my next round of exercises, I'm going to do like a close grip reverse row here. So I just didn't want to do inner back, inner lats, inner back repeated, you know, kind of switch them up a little bit. Kind of the same movement, but not at the same time. I got other sidekicks know what I'm talking about, but other trainers know exactly what I'm talking about too. All right, deadlift time. There we go. And again, I don't go too crazy heavy at all anymore with this. Come on, 100 reps with 100 pounds. Uh -oh, knocking that over. Here we go. Come on. Back up. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Yeah, keep going. Here's 10. Come on. Come on, up, yeah. get it, one more, get it, ah. one more, one more, Woo. get it, oh, I love it, oh. and yes, I am making the choice right now to be a better person, a loving person, as are you, I love you guys. I need a break. <laughs> All right, everybody, round three. So I didn't really take a real break, but I kept seeing the chariot card from this deck in my head where there's a young man in an urban environment who's surfing a taxi cab, right? He's on top of the taxi cab. That's the chariot, right? Yellow is your solar plex. You have confidence. I'm getting Teen Wolf style too, like 80s style, but you're having fun because you got this brilliance to you. Maybe a little arrogance, but, but that might be... Huh? It's not arrogance at all. You just, you, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You're moving forward in such a good way. You're not just moving forward, driving a cab. You're surfing that cab, right? You're on top of it. That's how you ride in life. You're the star. You shine bright. Even as I split the deck just now, even if the tower comes in, right? But let's take a look at this. Now, you could crash and fall. Not getting any real bad vibes here though. No. If you crash and fall, you're just gonna like roll with it and tumble, you know, and then jump back up. Cause that youth energy of yours. Know what I'm getting here? This is awesome. I'm getting you're on the top of this tower, right? For some of you, this might be a power trip. For others though, you're just smart enough to see it before it happens. You're not gonna let yourself drown because there's a Statue of Liberty hand up here, meaning the torch is still lit in you. There's still hope, there's still fire. And no matter what surrounds you, even if you're in an urban uh, environment or a city, don't those all look like big towers or, ca or canyons? Maybe someone's in the desert too. 
but it doesn't scare you. Say, I ain't scared. I know whatever comes my way is divine. And I'm going to roll with it, baby, because we are in what? Flow. You may face this tower, but it's not falling down. You'll scale it like Dubai. You'll scale it nice and high. I got faith in you all, just like you got faith in me. And we're rolling with the homies, baby. Oh, yeah. So don't be scared of a tower. Don't be scared of whatever tower is coming in. For some of you, it is water, though. I have a little fear of water as well. And if you're going on vacation, you're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to be just fine. What, do, is there anything specific we need to know about this? No, not this tower. Yes, towers usually means something crumbling or something falling or a disaster, but no. Like you said, this tower is rising higher and higher. Not even a flood can stop it. You are the tower, my friend, in a good way. Meaning when you show up, other people do feel insecure and sad, and, but that's on them. You just shine so freaking bright. Again, that night energy... That star energy is becoming the queen and the king. Others, they do what? They kneel to kings and queens. And they don't know why. And, and you're like, please don't. No. This is not kneel before Zod. You're like, stand up. Stand tall. Stand tall like a beautiful city. Oh, yeah. And also, we're not afraid of anything. We're not afraid of anything. So even if a tower does come in, it's not going to bother you. You're going to... Assess the situation and move on right through it. We don't ignore the problems. Some of us ignore financial problems, but, but not that we ignore it. We know it's there. We're focused on the solution. That's what we're talking about here. We're focused on the solution. And by focusing on the solution and not ignoring or being disillusioned, right? You're rising above the tower. You're rising above the water. Some of you feel like you're being drowned, but you're not. Remember, Remember, the highest perspective, the highest perspective, focus on the solution. For some of you, it may be just to work really hard. For others, God and divine timing. And not just give it over to God, it already is. We're here to help. We are, we are not just helping you. We are showing you the way. The way, like a Jedi in a way. The force is strong with you, my friend. Remember that. Oh, yeah. Woo! I love it when we do that. <clears throat> so yeah, we've got a little bit of shit coming in, right? With the tower, but what comes after the tower? Your ships. Your ships will be coming in, are coming in. They're already there, right? They're already there. They just haven't made it to dock yet for some of y'all. For some of y'all, they're sitting there in the dock. Maybe you're find, looking for the ship. The two of you will find each other. So don't worry, don't be scared. With that said, let's lift some weights. Third round, everybody. Third round, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you all so much. 2,000, y'all. 2,000 subscribers and then some. I know I'm saying 2,000, but we're going to blow it out of the water. It'll be like 10,000 before you know it. 100,000. Woo! We'll have our own TV show. All right, come on. Let's do it, everybody. Up. Come on. Yep. Come on. Up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Get it. One more. One more. One more. Bring it to me. Yep. Get it up. Nope. Got to do one more. One more. Up. Yeah. Whoo. Whoo. I like it. Something about jealousy I just heard. Someone might be jealous of what we're doing, but it's not your fault and it's not your problem. We've all felt jealousy, right? But, but I'm not getting that energy. We're not envious or jealous. I think people are jealous that you're so confident, right? And you shine so bright. Even at what you might call your lowest point, you're still, you're still floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Uh, you don't give them the privilege of maybe seeing the times you are down, which they're there. We all have it, we're human. But man, you're shining bright. And you're not only floating, you're flying. That's what other people get envious of. And even when shit's thrown at you, right? You use it to fertilize and grow and, and make crops for you to harvest down the road. That's how good you are. That's how smart you are. 
That's right. Whew. Long winding road. I'm on my way. Sing it. Home sweet home. That's been the theme song all day, y'all, if you watch my other videos. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, get it. Uh. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on. Back up. Keep going. Come on. Here we go. Come on. More than that. Yep. Three more. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Woo. Woo. Yep. One more. We got it. Get it up. Whoa. I'm on my way. Home sweet home. Thank you all so much. That's the end of this set of exercises. I got a whole nother round or three rounds of regular pull-ups and reverse skipper rows. So if this is where you leave me, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. But please, please, please watch the other videos as well. I just heard really loud too, don't say that. <laughs> Gives people ideas, right? You do you though. I love you guys, I love you. All right, till next time. Check you later.